Hello everybody, today I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, I want to show you Steam's big picture that it's just brought out. Um, you, if you had Steam in uh, in beta, you could you could have it in beta for a bit. That's what I meant to say. So I've actually had it for a little bit longer. Um, I don't know what these are. I've honestly not used it uh, too much because it's not actually that useful to me to have it like this. Uh, all the games I do play is on my computer, but I'm at my desk, which is not a safe or anything, so it, it's honestly, you know, not not really help me with that. Um, let's just have a look how the store functions on, on this. Ooh. The video comes up, that's nice. So you can see this is one of the Steam Greenlight games called Forge. Um, as you can see everything runs very smooth. I'm using a controller. Um, I'm not using the mouse keyboard or anything. Oh shit, I'm going to move the mouse. So that would, that would be if I was moving the mouse, but I'm not. Um, I say this game actually looks looks very, very good. Um, Mm, PvP. I'm not honestly too much into that, if I'm honest. Not a huge amount. So, it's not something I'm that bothered about. Uh, this is obviously a system for helping people who mainly, like me, have come from console, come from a console background. Um, and just make it more accessible. So, mainly, so showing you what games, so for The Walking Dead, you can generally play that. And Dishonored, and as you can see, these are half compatible, which means that generally means you can get them to work with just a controller uh, if you know what you're doing. I mean, Chivalry, I've never, I've only ever pressed a couple of buttons on the keyboard a few times. So I normally do use my controller. I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to show you one that's actually got one, but I haven't. Okay. So, and you can also view your library as well. I'm not sure if it shows you all the games or just the ones that are compatible. Uh, so these are games that I've recently played. That's not a Steam game, Dawn of Fantasy, by the way. So, I currently played, recently played Guns of Icarus, that was the latest one I've played, and that's obviously got half control support. Skyrim has full control support, yet yeah, it doesn't show full control support, and the same with War in the North as well, because obviously I did my review on that. Just the first bit. Nuclear Dawn is on there as well. Full Manager, Red Alert, Dota, doesn't... Obviously, quite a few games of these don't see so reckoning. See, many of them are console games anyway, so you know there's no difference in the support. They they have a tool, Audio Surf. That's a brilliant game. So yeah, you can if you use your library, you can view your library on it. Obviously, and it shows you the ones most recently played. Obviously, if they're not installed, you still have to install them. And then you can obviously see all of the games on here as well. Uh, so just show off all of my games. Many many games. Some of which I haven't even played, but that's the way it goes. So and it, it's all very easy to. It's just across a simple, really simple. Um, I'll show you community now as well. That's uh, my friend list, and it allows you to send messages and say let's been a bit slow there. So let's let's try the uh, sending the message. I've not, not used this before, as of yet. It's their new Daisy control something or other. But anyway, let's, let's try just saying... Hello. Friends, I want to say friend. Okay, so that'll do. A to send. Oh, friends. I don't want friends. I want friend. There we go. So A to send, and as you can see, I've sent a message saying hello, friend. Um, it's not the easiest to use, but I guess if you were just, <laughs> I guess if you were just on it and um, you didn't have a keyboard nearby and it was just hooked up, you had your controller onto your television. It's not too bad. Um, 
So, before I get into too much of a conversation with my good friend, um, I'll just ask him. Ugh. Where's Y? Oh, it's there. As you can see, it becomes a, a bit quicker in, in time. And obviously, oh, you can move that around as well. Numbers. So do we have a question mark? Uh. <laughs> I found the smileys, but I can't quite find the... The question mark. Ooh. All right. Well, so I asked him how he is about the question mark. That's fine. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's not too bad, and it comes up with the message. And if I press the middle button, it takes me straight to chat. It's actually really good. Uh, actually, I'm actually quite impressed with that I've not used any of this before. Really, I've only been on it once or twice. Um. So as you can see, and it, it it's one of those things. Obviously, you get used to, and but it would be much easier to use your keyboard anyway. I mean, but we already know that as it is. Um. So yeah, it works. It does does the job, and it does it just as well as any console does. Um. So th is that all for community? Don't seem to be able to do much else on community instead of apart from look at your friends. But there you go. And so it does also give you uh, a web page as well. And obviously, that bit in the middle is slightly doing, but we've got my friend's profile up here. Let's go on to store, shall we? Yes. Right, so this is everything that's in the store at the minute. Zooming in and out is quite easy. That It doesn't refresh terribly quickly, though, I've noticed. Um, so what's our what's my home page? Right, let's go to Google. And here's the yep, there we go. This comes up as well. I haven't had to use my keyboard yet at all, which I know is obviously the uh, object of it. YouTube, so if I click that, does that does that do it? Yes. search and up comes YouTube uh, I don't have a flash player hmm. I think that's actually I think I don't know I'm not sure if I have flash player on mine or whether that's gonna be a problem or not I can't tell you uh, let me just search for myself because obviously that's easiest. Do, 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 do. There it is. My channel. That's what you get if you search Van Berman. Nothing of much interest to most people. Yet the videos will actually run. Not especially well, though, I've noticed. So we'll pause that. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I don't really know what's going on. I think maybe I don't have the the right flash player for Steam, so that could be one of the reasons why that's not working as well as I'd like. Uh. Just let it play out, I think. Right. Uh, as you can see, the I don't know, the browser seems to go off a bit and doesn't quite load as fast as you'd want, so maybe... Maybe that needs a bit of tweaking, but I don't know. Are you really going to be that bothered about using it for that? I guess if it's going to be on your main telly, then yes. But, mm, I don't know. It's mainly there for the games, I suppose. I've got six new ones now. What else we got here? Okay. Poland bundle. Five games from Poland. Fair enough. So, as you can see, it comes up with interesting things. Um, the settings, I don't think there's really too much in the voice in-game. 
Yeah, no. And that's, so that seems to be about it. Um, it's it's quite good, I guess. Unfortunately, I think it's only it's only really there for specific situations. You know, if you have a certain setup at home and one big telly, or you you don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation, you just like to have a computer, which you can feasibly do now really easily because Steam just makes that so easy. I mean, I have my PlayStation, and I think well, I played a little bit of FIFA, a little bit of WWE, and that's it. Just don't use it for anything else at all. So this sort of thing could be really good. Um, obviously, Steam is expanding all the time, so you know why not? It's a really good idea, uh, and it's worth checking out if you're, as I say, if you're in that unique position where this sort of thing would help you at home. Um, maybe there's obviously going to be updates, so hopefully they'll um, fix the web browser slightly, make it a bit more, make it refresh a bit quicker, and a bit a bit more crisper, maybe. But apart from that, really, really good. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking it out anyway. Just have a look yourself if you've got Steam. Uh, or it might convince you to go out and get it, I don't know. But thank you very much for watching anyway. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys.